First lesson. Cash will no longer exist in the future. People will pay with their own identity. Look closely, Ruth. Tiny sensors will make it possible to look up the price of any product and update it in real time. And thanks to smart contract protocols, we will be able to fully verify the manufacturing process, preventing fraud in the supply chain. If we play our cards right, we could capture thousands of new customers. Customers are now called users. Many of these are not even human. Not human? Let me introduce you to Susan. At the moment, Susan is doing her weekly shopping. <laughs> well, she looks like she's painting a picture. When her favourite products are running out, her fridge is authorised to automatically restock them. So, are things turn into consumers? Indeed. Your cleaning robot purchases the spare parts it needs. In the future, 45% of transactions will be made by things. Well, people, things, users, as long as we can manage their accounts and budgets, everything will be fine. You don't yet see it, Ruth. There will be a total shift in paradigm. Banks will be transformed into trusted blended assistants. I'm sorry, what's that? Trust will be at the centre of the banking sector. From there, different variants will be developed, such as Trust Assistant Advisors for Financial Services. Let me show you. It. Banks are no longer a place where you store your savings. Banks will be artificial intelligences that assess your finances and life events. Banks will become trusted assistants. The progress made in artificial intelligence will make it possible to cross-check all consumer behavioral insights and then offer personalized consumer advice. I found a two-for-one trip to Bali. We can recommend the products Dave really needs, and our knowledge will make him truly happy. Hello, Dave. Today we have a proposal to make to you that can help you save a lot of money little by little. We have detected that you have a large number of online subscriptions that you no longer use. Do you want to talk about how to reduce them? But we can do all of this. Commit to new technologies and diversify our financial products. Look, Entity, you said my bank was going to collapse, but you were wrong. You haven't seen everything yet, Ruth. between banks and customers is going to be a combination of human and digital, but also bank-owned and third-party channels. This is happening already. When you take an Uber, pay with Santander wallet in a restaurant, or buy something in Amazon One Click, for example, there is a seamless payment experience. But even in these situations, the customer is aware that he's using a Santander payment process. That will work, it is secure, 
and that in case of any problem can count on us to solve it. Moreover, this payment is information that we will manage carefully and with other part of the, of the customer financial information, we are providing um, alerts, insights and advice to keep his finance on track and be financially healthy. That's the value we are bringing to help people and business proper and the channel is just the means to do it. So banks are going to be more than places where a person can store his or her money, right? What other qualities will they have? Will we feel them as trusted assistant, uh, which helps us uh, with our goals? Will this make us interact with our transactions in more empathic or even uh, human way? Well, this is definitely the scenario we work and have tangible results already. The concept of Santander as the best open financial platform inherits or leverages an element of partnerships to bring more solutions to our users and to be relevant actor in more situations, serving more customers and needs. These solutions can be delivered through alerts, messages in your favorite app, our mobile banking, or using human-like assistance, where we already have more than a dozen of examples in production in 10 countries. So right now, banks' clients are people, but with the rise of AI and IoT, do you think that in the near future a significant percentage of clients will be things acting in behalf of humans? Well, clients are clients, and therefore humans or companies with a recognized identity, rights and obligation. Even if a robot or automatic system is initiating an operation, behind the scenes there is a customer need. In that sense, all the industry has to be prepared to an amazing increase in the number of interactions, balancing queries, payments, transfer, etc. Due to PSD2, in-app payments, aggregator, everything. And this is the scenario that our IT platforms are considering. The technology available just five years ago was not able to manage the activity we have today, and this trend will remain.